is the Taz Show. Yeah, Dan Norton, one of our regular listeners and callers and viewers of the Taz Show, sends a great hump day promos all the time. He, um, he, Dan Norton, put up this, uh, he posted it yesterday, this video. I, I, so just let me set this up for you guys here. So here's how it happened. Dan Norton went to an appearance where Mick Foley and Noel were sitting, signing autographs. Not quite sure where that was. Coincidentally, uh, I can see we have Dan. We have Dan on hold. So we'll get to Dan Norton in a second here, but we, um, we'll play the video first. But watch what happens. Pay attention. If you're not watching the video, this is Dan Norton asking Mick Foley a question, and sitting next to Mick is his daughter, Noel. Go. DDP Young is awesome, right? Yeah, it's working pretty good for me. Do you know Taz, by the way? Five, four, oh, three, sorry, she's two, counting me down. one. <laughs> play it again. Play it again. Ken. Yeah, when you get a chance, just play it again. Yeah, that's hilarious. Okay? I, I thought it was like a CGI thing when I, fir- when I first saw the glimpse. I'm like, hey, how did they do this? Wait a minute. But it was really Mick, uh, you know, obviously uh, ribbing me uh, with Dan Norton at the helm. Uh, so you got it ready to go? I go, got it ready. Play it, play it. DDP Young is awesome, right? Yeah, it's working pretty good for me. Do you know Taz, by the way? Five, four, oh, three, sorry, she's two, counting me down. one. <laughs> hey, Dan Norton, what's up, buddy? How's it going, Taz? So what, what's the deal, man? you got a pretty good brand in your head. How'd you come up with this idea, and where exactly was this appearance that Mick was at? Uh, well, this is at uh, Eternal Con at the Cradle of Aviation over by the Nassau Coliseum. I know what a, I know what a Nassau Coliseum is. Oh, yeah. Is that is that uh, the spot you're talking about? Is that over by, like, Mitchell Field? Yeah, it's, it's like, by the... Uh, the behind Ho- there, oh, Nassau oh, community. behind Hofstra, behind Hofstra. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's what you had to say. It's right behind Hofstra, by Nassau yep. Community College. Yes. Got it. Now that we all know where that is. So, uh, okay, it was over there. Okay, great. I don't live that far from that area. I have uh, one of my homes there. I have a plethora of homes on Long Island. I have seven to nine homes. So um, I just happen to like Long Island, but I digress, Dan. So what happened? Bring us behind the scenes here. Yeah, well, uh, a friend of mine was going to this uh, this event, told me Foley was there. I was like, all right. My wife and I were like, yeah, we, uh, we got to go. Um, and we get online, and we notice he, it's not just a quick thing. He was actually spending time with people. It was uh, 100% for donation. Nice. For his, uh, Chris, uh, Christmas magic. Oh, so, nice. Uh, yeah, so everything, the whole thing for both of them signing was uh, was charity. So awesome. he was spending actual time with people. I was like, all right, well, I got to do something uh, for the Taz show here. Yes. Um, so, of course. So I was like, all right, I'm going to see if he'll if he'll do the countdown. <laughs> um, he didn't know what I was talking about, but he was he was totally cool with doing it. Did you, um, did you give him the backstory? I, I tried, um, but it, it was kind of, you know, a lot to to get into there. So it's really uh, not that much, but I understand. Yeah, um. I know. But yeah, <laughs> trying to explain everything in that spot when they're also telling you to try to move on. So, so like, you I you were actually getting you. counted down as we were doing yes. the gimmick. I got you. I see. Yeah. Okay. So I explained a little bit, but he was just like, "Oh, okay, we'll, we'll do this." Uh, yeah, so it was a work, but you know. It was so, uh, he, as long as he knew it was a rib on me, he was down with it. That's what. Oh yeah, like. yeah, yeah. He, uh, <laughs> he, he knew it. He he did say he, was, he said you know you're crazy. You you do you do all this, so it's a lot of work that you do uh, yeah. each week. But yeah. uh, you know he knows that he knows that that's uh, you do a lot of work and it's awesome. So well, yeah, it's yeah. funny because him and I had you know a private conversations as of recent, like text messages and stuff, and uh, and he had said that to me because dude, I don't know how you do. It. You're insane. You're yeah. nuts. I, I I could never do that and. It's so much work, and I was so it was so nice to Mick to say that to me, you know. But I'm like, ah, dude, it's when it's someone's passion, you know. It's like it's yeah. like anything else. It's like Mick, I I wouldn't jump off buildings and drop an elbow on guys either. You know? <laughs> and he left, you know. So it's yeah. like that's yeah, his passion, you know.